Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop, and today we're going to working on the uh, Comet Mill. As you see, it's in the back of the shop now. I'm in the middle of a massive shop reorganization, and when it's just one man like it is me, moving the size of machinery I have, it takes a while. So the shop's a mess right now, but sneak peek, kind of uh, got all the drill presses moved. Gotta get, I'm going to get rid of some stuff there, but uh, today's plan. When I got this mill, it was missing the feed for this side and the handle and the crank. But doing some quick measuring, I believe that the Kent milling machine's drive setup will pretty much go right on there. I guess we'll see. So first thing we'll do is I'll get you set up and we will take the power feed and all the handle stuff off i'm not sure how it goes together we'll see how it or how it comes off we'll see that together we're going to move this over to there i did crank the handle and measure you know watch the indicator on the wheel and i cranked the handle on the comet and they're the same for one turn of this it goes the same distance so that dial should be accurate and uh again sorry Massive shop reorganization. This is some of the machinist tools from yards and halls. I still need to find a home for but with having two jobs and Everything else customers and But we're hammering out that shop tour is coming soon guys. So this should just be hopefully I'm doing This guy I think this will slide right off. Yep. Set that off to the side. And we will go over to... I'll clean all this stuff off. I'm not going to clean it until I get the other stuff and we can mock it up make sure it'll work. So let me get you set up and we'll start disassembling the uh, power feed over there. Okay. So first we'll do... Take this nut off. Again, I've never had one of these apart. But from looking at the other thing, there's only so many components to it this guy slides off I have a key right there which is good because the other shaft had a key um, that part threads on there so there's that guy And our dial came off. We're doing good so far. Now, I guess I'll undo the socket head screws. Sorry if my arm's in the way there a bit. And I'm thinking it will just pull off now I'm hoping it'll just pull off now so. I know there's bearings underneath there because the guy I got this from oh, drop that guy back in the days of your uh, said he did something with the bearings behind here Four bolts. Let's see. Do a little wiggle poo. Trying to force anything. Looks like it's just swinging on the bearings. Uh, let me see if I have anything I can crudely wedge back in there. Just to give it a little bit of force. Just a little bit. Yes, I know. Screwdrivers are not pry bars. 
But I'm trying to see if it'll, it's, it's going to move a little bit. Because, yeah, it's not retained by anything else. So let me actually... Leave you clipped right here. Soft blow hammer with light taps. And it is coming. piece that had a keyway in it as well then there's this piece which is the actual drive unit there's a spacer we'll see if we need any of that stuff but we will reposition and we'll take this over to the uh, comet mill and we'll see how we're looking i'll bring you back okay so we're over at the Comet Mill. And I did notice one thing. This only has one keyway in it instead of two. So the front keyway that would hold the handle on is not here. So we'll have to obviously remedy that. Let's see how the power feed fits on here. That fits on there nice. Excellent. And the bolt holes line up. So, next we have this assembly, which is just the clamp ring, I'll call it. And this. That's going to fit. This keyway goes all the way through it. That's going to sit in there like that. I need to clean this shaft up. So, yeah, that keyway would definitely be in there. And that would put our handle out right about there. So we might have to turn this down a little bit, which is no big deal. But we will have to uh, cut a keyway in the shaft. So I think... Um, Obviously, it'll be hard to cut in this machine if its uh, shaft is, is on the table. Uh, I could still do it very crudely. So I think we might set it up on the lathe. I have a keyway cutting, uh, tool, I have a tool post keyway cutter. And we'll do it that way. Uh, yes, we'll probably have to do it that way. But yeah, or I could hand cut it. I got cape chisels. I've done it before. It's a very short keyway. I mean, this is the key. It's just a slot in there. So I could hand cut it. But uh, yeah, looks like everything's gonna work. And then we'll have our handle and our dial and all that good stuff. So obviously today I'm not gonna get to that. I'm too busy moving stuff, but yeah. It's looking, it's looking very encouraging. The power feed stuff is all going to work. I, I did measure the shafts and all that. So we just have to add a keyway to this. And we should be good to go. So, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.